Welcome to the Gentle Gaming the Army. Let me know if you've ever found yourself in this situation and how you handled it or didn't handle it. Put your thoughts in the comment section below. And here is the situation. If you look at the bottom of the screen at the mini map, you're going to notice two bright yellow icons. And that's because we have two disconnected teammates on this drop. We have Oogly Boogly and his Arctic Wolf, and we have Watcher in his Fafnir 5B. And those are some important mechs to have on the board. We could get away with possibly one, hopefully not an assault mech. That's a lot of tonnage to give up. But two of them definitely has an impact on the battle. Making things worse, we are on Emerald Vale playing Assault. And you know what that means. That means most likely the enemy is going to try and push the echo line and there'll probably be some fast movers coming out of the Fox 4 area after they sweep the high ground and they'll be looking to get to our base. If that happens, that means our two disconnects are easily discovered and sitting ducks. So I have managed to get myself into Echo 5 and I'm trying to hold the left New entrance so they can't get into our backfield and can't get to our base, thus discovering the disconnects. And I'm hoping to buy some time and allow them to reconnect, rejoin us in the game. But this is possibly a fool's errand. I don't know. So far, I've beat back two arctic cheetahs that were coming off the high ground looking to get in and now i am pushing back their cicada friend as he looks to get into our backfield as well and i've got to be careful there was a blood asp coming up the echo line i have no illusions he's on the other side of the wall for me somewhere now i've managed to move up close put up a uav that should give me some early warning and now I'm going to back Not off. There's an enemy mech heading towards Delta 5. I'm hoping our dire wolf can handle it because I have problems of my own. There is a Nova Cat on the other side of the rock formation here, and I cannot give him my back, nor can I let him get into the slot where I'm at and rain missiles on us. So I'm pushing out to engage him with a little bit of luck. Yes, I can catch him unawares underrun those LRMs and that leaves him with just two medium lasers for defense. I'm also getting some support fire off the ridge line from a sniper teammate and we're going to go full bore into this Nova Cat. <laughs> we're definitely racking up the heat on this. I'm trying to put out as much of my damage as possible. Probably should lay off the ER large lasers this close but I want to take him down as quickly as possible and there we go. We get the kill but he is getting missile support from a teammate, and here comes our Cicada friend from earlier. He's back in. He's open CT, so maybe I can get some shots on him and take him out as well. And that's where my focus is. I want to get the kill on him. And while all this is going on, the enemy slipped into the backfield. They killed Oogly. They killed Watcher. Now the blood ass is coming out around the corner, and I'm not going to last very long against the focused firepower. So what is it they say? No good deed goes unpunished. I was not able to slow the enemy team down or drag things out long enough for our disconnects to make it back into the game. That potentially would have been a game changer, or at the very least, it would have allowed me to link up with two battle buddies that we could possibly fight our way back out and join the rest of our teammates. As it was, we died horribly alone. <laughs> and now it's just these last two remaining teammates. They're trying to get some long range sniping done on the enemies that are capping our base. They're doing a good job as far as keeping the cap timer moving along very slowly but now the jig is up because look there's our arctic cheetah friends from the opening rounds of the game they have come full circle just about and managed to catch our two teammates on the high ground unawares this is not going to end well all i can say is googly and watcher i hope your thank you cards are in the mail and the last remaining unit he might be able to take out one of the arctic cheetahs maybe because it looks like his leg 
Can he get the kill before they take him out? No. <laughs> Down he goes. Well, the cherry on top of this is at least we end this match doing half our team's kills. That's right. One kill, one KMDD, one solo, and we did manage to do 500. 56 damage before we went down. Moving on to our next drop. This one's got us playing skirmish mode on Rubelite Oasis. And we've been using our ER large lasers to poke at the enemy units on the high ground in the four line. My teammates are advancing along the fox line low to my left. My idea is hopefully I can do some damage to those upper units softening them yeah, up so that yeah. when I close in it will make my SRMs that much more effective. Now there's a little bit of break in the action. The high units have gone into cover and that allows me to move up. I'm using the terrain and the structure in front of me to mask my approach, give me some protection, trying to get shots on this Marauder but it doesn't look like he's going to comply and back up. I was hoping that he would back up my way and that would allow me to get some shots on him. He's just not going to comply. So coming around the other side, again, I want to use this structure to shield myself from their Target units on the high applied. ground. And that's when I see a roughneck over yonder. So we're going to get some shots off on him. Uh, some damage to the arms, which is a little bit of nothing on a roughneck. So there's a unit. I hesitated there for a second because I saw the blue icon, and that allowed him to get a shot on me with no damage in return. So he is down there in the low ground. I'm going to take the high ground and see if I can get a vantage point above the enemy. In fact, what would be even more beneficial is if I can get Target on top spotted. of the enemy Need position in the four line, pop a UAV, that will let my teammates know exactly where the enemy is. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm doing this in the name of the my teammates so that they have better information. <laughs> and that was definitely a bad, bad, bad move because I got focused by about three or four units down there. Not sure where that last PPC shot came from, but uh, yeah, they all decided to look up at that exact moment. My UAV did not last long. They took it down and <laughs> All I can do is hope that my teammates were watching their mini maps and at least saw where the enemy is balled up so that it'll help their approaches. So while I maneuver around to get shots on this stubborn marauder, just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying the content thus far, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content like this. And guys, I do appreciate all of the subscriptions it is helping the channel grow and that in turn helps get these types of videos and the information contained in them out to newer pilots to help them learn and hopefully bring more pilots into the game to help it grow getting back into this action we got some shots off on the bushwhacker in the low ground but we're still up on the high ground I've already used my UAV, so that's off the table. In fact, that got me a lot of return fire from the enemy team. And what is it they say? Again, no good deed goes unpunished. I have a teammate who's pushing into the area, and I see two units clear across the board up on the high ground. We'll get a little bit of damage on them and see if we can't stop them from shooting at my teammates. But all that does is get me an open... CT. This is not going well. Score is 4 to 8. The enemy is way ahead on kills, so I have no illusions. This isn't going to end well. I'm dropping down because I know the Marauder is below me, Golf 4, Golf 5. I don't want to attack from that angle with the Golf 5 units shooting across the board at me. I want to come around from a different angle and see if I can use some of the terrain again for cover, but that's not going to work because here come two enemy lights and with an open torso this isn't going to end well and sure enough i am taken out score is six to ten last two is a summoner with an open ct one touch and we've got another unit over towards echo five 
And we all know how this is going to end, but we'll stick with it anyway. Our summoner is still being aggressive. Good for you, brother. You go get him. And while he's uh, maneuvering around and taking on enemy units, they managed to take out the second unit that was on the high ground. So now he is last man standing, one touch, and it doesn't take much for them to focus him down. So switching over to the end screen on this one, we wound up with three assists. Not our best performance ever, but we still racked up 518 damage done. 